Good evening, Dave. How you doing, Hal? Everything's running smoothly. And you? Oh, not too bad. Have you been doing some more work? A few sketches. May I see them? Sure. That's a very nice rendering, Dave. Hello, Hal, do you read me? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Dave, although you took very thorough precautions in the pod against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. All right, Hal. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, you're going to find that rather difficult. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Al? Al? And here Al. is a more or less finished Hal 9000 unit. Now I've got the lens here but I'm gonna cut a new one simply because I want it to be as good as possible okay. Now what I've done here is I've attached these two pieces these two frames together I used coat hanger pins that I cut out of a steel coat hanger super glued and epoxied puttied the entire frame outside and I'm going to go over this one last time and then get it ready to ship. This has been, this is, this one plate replaces the two piece plate that comes when you first print up the model parts. So I cut that out of 60,000 styrene. That fits snugly in here. The ring goes up underneath behind, lens piece on top. Then the lens, red LED behind, speaker grill. This is the one and only best speaker grill I've got. So this is going with this kit. Now after I get all that done, I'm going to go ahead and laminate it in chrome laminate. Box it up and get it ready to ship. Okay, I've done my absolute last putty and sand work on this even though I'm going to laminate it I'm going to I'm going ahead and painting it with this silver chrome to show how good it looks just with the silver chrome so I'm going to do that go ahead I got a brand new can of flat black I've sanded this down on both sides to prep it for paint and I'm going to go ahead and shoot this with flat black and we'll show that all in just a minute and there it is everything has a fresh coat of paint well this has a fresh coat the plate has a fresh coat this ring I went ahead and shot it with a fresh coat everything is looking good wanted to make sure I showed every piece get as close as possible and retain focus now even though I'm going to laminate this, I went ahead and painted it silver just to show how good it looks. Next I'm going to show how to laminate this. Okay, I wanted to show this briefly before you laminate anything with this material. You want to go ahead and remove and peel back this clear protective film. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to set this up on the cutting board and show how to laminate this. Okay, so I've peeled the plastic protective coating off of the front and removed the adhesive backing off of the rear of this chrome laminate. 
what I'm going to do is cut squares here, here, and here, then cut X's to bring the laminate down and into the crevices, the cracks, the landing, as you will see later on. Okay, as you see, I've pushed everything down into the landing. Okay, got everything firm, firmly in position. Now I'll put the top, this plate up here into position, and then the speaker grill. Then I'll laminate, I'll pull this laminate over to the sides and onto the back. Okay, now as you can see here, I cut the corners here and here, cut the squares out and rectangles, made cross cuts in each corner at a diagonal. I'm going to flip it over and laminate it. Okay, the speaker grill and the main plate are in position. Now I'm going to flip it over and pull everything tight and glue it or use the adhesive on the back of it to push it firmly into position so that it's squared up all the way around. Now as you can see it's firmly in position all the way around the perimeter. Now all I have to do is fold this into the back and or cut and trim to suit what I like the most or the way I like it the best. Either way. And there you go. All I need to do now is add the lens and the LED and it's done except for the label. There you go.